Matthew is my fourth child. He's my fourth and youngest. Um, and so he's 19. And then we have Mackenzie that's 20 and Maddie that's 22 and Michael that just turned 24. Wow, you're old. I know. I, stop. That's <laughs> Judy's line. <laughs> Judy, you did not hear that. No. <laughs> okay. So, um, but Matthew's going to college. And when you go to college, you got to learn to eat. You can't always go yeah, to the dining to hall. You do know how to eat. You know how to cook. <laughs> this is true. Like these old kids that like to talk. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do like a little cooking class about uh, just around a college dorm cooking, you know, like that kind of thing, because it's different. So when you're in a college dorm, you don't have a big refrigerator that you can put a bunch of food in. You have a refrigerator. Um, so you're kind of limited on the food that you can have. Um, and you're limited on how much storage space you have. You've got a little microwave to cook in, but you can still do a lot of things. So we thought we would run through a quick breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, in a college dorm. <laughs> so um, we're teaching Matthew how he's going to cook and he's going to be doing all the work. So you ready to go, Matthew? Absolutely. Okay. Let's go. All right. <laughs> he's ready for the challenge. Okay. So the first thing we did do some prep work just because y'all don't want to be here all night watching us cook, but no, not that one. We're not doing that one yet. Um, <laughs> this is so funny. I'm already messing all right so we're gonna show so it's it's breakfast we're gonna we're gonna start with lunch because we need it to cook and we're gonna come back to breakfast so it's lunch time you know what you need to hurry up and grab a quick sandwich but you kind of want it to be not just some ham and cheese you want to toast it up a little bit so we have pre-made a um what's in here ham bacon cheese it's on day 20 how many how many grains 29 21 whatever it's on some good healthy bread um and you know, nowadays with, thank you, Matthew, good, that's good, okay. And nowadays with, with um, groceries being able to be delivered, they can be delivered right to the dorm hall. From experience with other college kids that I have that they need some groceries, we can just have them delivered. They can go to the grocery store, whatever. So it's pretty easy to do. So we're gonna, we put a little bit of butter on the outside. You're gonna put this in the micro pro grill. Right. Have you used a micro pro grill before? I have. You've, you, you've seen it, you've probably used it. So we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna put it in the casserole position. So just like that. And it's going to touch the top a little bit of the um, of the sandwich, cause this one's a little, <laughs> it's stacked, you know, Matthew style, but that, that's okay. It's gonna, um, it's not completely squishing it. We're gonna put it in there for two minutes and then I want you to take it out, look at it and flip it for two minutes more. Um, so that's gonna cook for a total of four minutes. Some, sometimes it only takes three minutes. So you just have to kind of learn with the micro pro grill because it's going to toast whatever you put in there. It's going to actually grill it. So instead of just taking a pan and heating up your stove and heating up you know, your pan and, and doing a grilled cheese or grilled ham and cheese, instead you're doing it in the microwave in the micro pro grill. Okay, so next you're going to use some of our knives. I've got our different knives here. Knives? You get to use knives. I know this is our big chef out. knife. <laughs> And then we have our serrated knife. You're going to take all these to college. You got to learn what to use. And then this is our um, utility knife and our paring knife. So I want you to chop the bacon and which then you can use whichever knife you want. Use this knife. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> all right. So he, we just grill. You can grill bacon in the micro pro grill um, and you can chop that however you want. It doesn't matter. You can um, chop it small or big. It's going in an omelet. So you can grill your bacon in the micro pro grill. Um, I recommend if you're doing a, a college cooking class for helping, you know, parents get their kids off to college and, and teaching kids how to um, cook in a college dorm, I always recommend that if you're going to go ahead and grill some bacon, cook some bacon and you know you're going to have omelets a couple times this week, or you're going to have bacon on your sandwich or something like that, go ahead and cook your like several pieces of bacon. <laughs> In our house, we cook a package of bacon every time we eat bacon, but you know, um, and utilize the snack cups. Um, these are fantastic in a dorm room. They're liquid tight, airtight. You do have to keep all of your staple items, your cereals, your crackers, your snack foods in modular mates. I know from experience, again, experience, right? This experience of, of uh, having kids in college dorm rooms, uh, bugs and ants get in there. So you've got to protect the food, teach the kids to put it in don't just leave the box sitting on the counter. The food's going to go stale and get bugs in there. It's going to cause a whole thing. So um, I remember Madison, she's working over here. She called me one day and she's like, you need to send some containers, some cereal containers. My roommate keeps um, all her cereal open and we have a huge ant problem. And so <laughs> I sent cereal containers. 
like problems is disgusting. It's bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna All right, that's good. Go get your micro pro grill. I don't know what that was. Somebody oh, came somebody came off mute. <laughs> I'm like, what is that noise? They'll take care of it. We're too far away. All right, so with you can bring the micro pro grill over here, or you can just take this. Okay. You're gonna take your spatula and you want to. There you go. Take your spatula and you're gonna um, just flip it over. And I, you don't have to flip it over. You can put it in, in there for you know three or four minutes because it's gonna grill on the top and the bottom. But um, it just lets you take a look at it and see what's going on. So you'll get more accustomed to using your micro pro grill. And um, I think it was, um, it might have been Maddie. It was somebody. They they learned to make pancakes in there, uh, French toast. Like you can do all kinds of things in there. So have some fun with that. Okay, so next we're gonna continue with our breakfast. We're gonna make an omelet in the breakfast maker. I uh, have some peppers. I know you like peppers and onions. And I have our little chopping prep. So you're gonna put some of those in there and you're gonna chop up your veggies. You can, whatever you want. Yeah, put two or three in there. Again, this is another example. If you're chopping, because see, here's the thing when you're in a college dorm is that you're gonna chop all this up. You're gonna utilize all of this. And then you have to go wash it. So it's not super easy to wash because you've got to go to the, the um, sink that's the, what is that communal sink? I have a sink in my dorm. I, you do, uh, you do have a sink in your dorm. That's true. <laughs> Aren't you fancy? Um, anyway, so once you're chopping, what you can do is if you're gonna have omelets for the week, you can chop it, just chop once, put your veggies in your snack cup and then put this in your fridge. So when you go to make your omelet, you just top this up, take this off, put a couple little veggies chopped up in there and your omelet, you're good to go. Okay, chop, chop. Yeah, you put it on the counter, pull the cord, you know what to do with that. Share me with that. <laughs> it is like a lawnmower. All right, so you're gonna chop that, chop those up. That's perfect. Yeah, it doesn't, just takes a couple pulls. Now um, you're gonna take your spatula and just, um, I would take the blade out and yeah, just kind of tap it on the side. All the veggies kind of fall off. And then put your veggies in however many veggies you want in these eggs. And then you're going to pour the egg mixture into the base of the um, breakfast maker. All right. So however many you want, you can get, you can put whatever veggies you want in here. You can put spinach in here. You don't even have to put veggies. You can just crack some eggs. Um, do you want some salt and pepper? Uh, yes. Seasoning's important. These are great. These are the counterscapes um, that have the salt and the pepper on them um, with a little spoon that's on the top of them. Put a little bit of salt and pepper. That's good. That's a lot of pepper. That a lot of pepper. Again, you're gonna learn. That's the cool thing about like letting, <laughs> letting kids be in the kitchen is that they, they learn, oh wow, that was kind of peppery. That was a lot of salt. I, I want a little bit less. If you're constantly being like, no, don't do that. They're not gonna learn. They're gonna My be- immediate reaction when you're like, no, don't do that was like freeze. <laughs> right. Okay, got that. Okay, so now just take your fork kind of whisk that together and then you're going to put it into the base of the breakfast maker and you're going to top it with your bacon. I hold the cheese off to the end so I know people that um, yeah you could you could do that if you want that's cool I'm like in your space over here aren't I look at the pretty eggs that's nice put your bacon in there so if you yeah you can you like a lot of bacon so go ahead and put all that bacon in there if you don't you if you want to make poached eggs so eggs benedict yeah. Yeah. I okay. That's what these are for. You put those in there, put a little bit of water in here, crack your eggs in here, and it makes eggs benedict. All right. Cover goes on top. A dash. A dash. Now you're like a chef. Okay. So um, take that, put it in the, put it in the microwave for two minutes. And you'll learn your microwave at school because your microwave at school is going to be a little bit different. That's how that, that's just how it works. You'll have to clean all this up on your own. You won't have a mother cleaning up for you. Ew. <laughs> All right, so we've got lunch. We've got our sandwich. We're going to just let that sit there for, for a hot second. But let's talk about dinner. So um, for dinner, something super easy you can do. You can go and bring the pressure cooker over here. We went ahead and did this ahead of time um, so that because it does take it does take 20 minutes to cook. But tell them what you did with the pressure cooker. All right, we put the chicken in. What did we put in there? Boneless skinless chicken. Boneless skinless chicken. Chicken breast. Yep. You always say that so much faster. Almost going to chicken. And then, okay. But then we slathered it in a heaping serving of barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays. Sweet baby rays. Sweet baby rays. <laughs> and then we locked this down. I did not mean to that part. And then we put it in the microwave. I forgot how long. You did it. It was 20 minutes. It was 20 minutes. <laughs> I, I made him do it so he would know to do it. 
It was 20 minutes, two chicken breasts. Honestly, if you put three chicken breasts in there, it's the same, but two chicken breasts is going to go a long way because now that when, once it comes out, um, this thing's raised up, right? And it's making a little noise. You wait till that goes down, then it's safe for, to, to open. Okay, so now you can open that latch and then you're going to twist. That's good. Now you're going to twist the whole thing and then take the cover off, open it away from yourself. You don't burn yourself. That's good. Just put the cover over there. <laughs> you're cracking me up. All right, and now you want to use, get a new fork in that drawer. Um, now you just want to take one of the chicken breasts and you want to put it in here because what we're going to do is we're going to shred the chicken breast. It should be okay. Good. It's tender. Yeah. Sometimes when you go and you take the fork and you go to take it out, it's not going to, um, it's going to fall apart whenever you're in there, but that's okay. That means, it's well that means it's well cooked. Okay. So now you're going to put your, your power chef cover on. And when you do this, remember how you chopped the veggies and you were like, and you went really fast. Don't do that because it's going to make, you know how you, when you eat tuna fish, yeah. it's going to be that consistency. Uh, you want to shred, shred the chicken. Okay. So you're going to hold on to it and you're just going to pull the cord slowly. Just going to do that like five or six times. You can go a little faster than that. I just don't want you to do it super fast. <laughs> and then you can either take the, um, that's good, good. You can keep doing a little more. And you can either take the, um, barbecue sauce from there but i find it to be a little watered down i think you're good to go all right so take the cover off one more, one more. okay one more okay but do you so take the cover off twist yeah take that completely off so do you see how it shredded it mm -hmm. so instead of chopping it really fine using that slow motion it did that so take right. the center out i mean take the blade out and if you see how there was like a chunk when you're using a fork it's gonna all Blend right. together. You, in fact, you want to go show them what that looks like. Put your blade down, sure. and this blade is sharp. If you put it down this way, and you go to grab something, you might cut yourself. So the way you put it down like this was absolutely perfect because then it's not going to get cut. Know. It actually has a blade protector. But take like this over to the camera so they can see how it shredded everything. Nice show the chicken. Okay, so now put a little bit of barbecue sauce in there. Give it a little stir. And that's one chicken breast. You still have another whole chicken breast over here. Oh, right, so you have chicken that you can put in um, some Hawaiian rolls. You can make a sandwich out of it. Do you know you can even put this in an omelet and have like a little, right? A little barbecue omelet. omelet. Um, that could be lunch, dinner. You can make a sandwich out of it. <laughs> the Dean Dining Hall. I'm just getting this stuff out. Okay, so that's good. You get the idea. There's your shredded chicken. Um, when you can actually put this, this comes with a seal. So you can seal it up and just put this in your fridge. Or you can put it in smaller containers that um, you can heat up. And then I just had like a whole thing of. Shredded chicken. Shredded chicken. Exactly. Okay, so now we want to put some cheese on that. So you're going to take the cover, open it oh, away wait. from yourself so you don't burn yourself. I put some, look at oh, your omelet. All right, put the cheese on top and then I just let it sit there and melt for a hot second so that um, the cheese gets all melty and yummy. And then the last thing you're going to do is take out your Sammy that you grilled. Can you what? Yeah, you can. Do you see this water right here? Yeah. I usually take that so my omelet doesn't get soggy and I just tap it on the sink. That's big brain. Yeah. All right. So now what you're going to do is micro pro grill. A couple things to remember. Um, when you take this cover off, if this goes in the microwave for probably 15, 20 minutes, because sometimes you want to grill chicken things, there's lots of things you can do with it. This might get warm. So you might need to use a towel to lift it. And then when you take it off, if you set it down on something, this plate right here is super hot. Mm -hmm. So if you set it down on something, it's going to melt it. So when you do it, you just set it down like this because this, oh. this is silicone. Now look what you made. I made an amazing sandwich. Amazing sandwich. You can put it on the cutting board and cut it in half if you want or on the plate, whichever. Triangles. You're going to cut it into triangles. Okay. So cut it into triangles, put it on the plate, show everybody what you made. Now we've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, we've got our omelet for breakfast our sandwich for lunch, and we've got our barbecue chicken for dinner. Oh, that looks right. good. Put a little avocado with that. Hi.
show the people my sandwich. <laughs> show the people your Sammy. And then we can show them your omelet. Can I show them the omelet Yeah, show the omelet now. We got lunch, we got breakfast. All right, now you get to eat all this. Now I get to eat all this. Surreal. And dinner's right there. Dinner, <laughs> dinner, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, We're good. Dinner. I got my meal prep ready. So you good? This it's is good, good, right? You can take yeah. all this to college. You can That's cook so good. easy. Oh, you do have more chicken breast with the sauce. We didn't even show them that, but yeah. All right. That is a nice little sauce. I could have just dumped that in there. Oh, you said it was watery. I, it I, I was listening. I was listening. I'm super impressed. Like we just watched you guys make breakfast, lunch, and dinner in like literally minutes. That was amazing, you guys. Amazing. <laughs> That yeah, was that, fun. Good, good honored. job. Awesome. Thank you. Good so job, Matthew, Dean. Um, Matthew, when do you leave for school and where are you going? What are you going to do? I'm in university, Paul Station, and I'm majoring in society, ethics, and law. And when do I leave? Once I move in? We haven't Wait, set. I can hear you. Say that set. again. Oh, I'm speak sorry. up a little. Sorry. I'll speak up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to Texas A&M University, and I'm majoring in society, ethics, and law with, um, obviously, I want to go into law. <laughs> and... Yeah, when do I leave? I don't I don't know a set moving date yet, but it's like the week of the it's like August 21st. We pick on on July 5th. It's all a whole thing, y'all. <laughs> on July 5th, you schedule your move-in time, but it's the August 21st that week. First day class is August 30th, I think. Yeah. 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 I know I know that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. Well, Matthew, it's so great to see you in the in the kitchen with your mom, but yeah. learning how to make some stuff. I mean, that is awesome because I'm sure you're going to have quite the appetite with those kind of studies. So thank you so much, Inky. You're a great teacher and a great mom. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. Good job. All right. Now you can Good job, Matthew. <laughs>